So what's good guys, Adnan here and this is the OnePlus One, the former flagship killer from 2014 and it is running on top of an Android 7 daughter Nougat experimental build. Do you know what that means? Well, without any further delay, here's a quick look at it. If you want to flash this, keep in mind that this is a highly experimental build and is not meant for daily use. Anyhow, I'll be linking down the XDA thread required to flash this with all the necessary instructions to be followed. With Cyanogen Mod 14 still a bit far away, I gotta say, this ROM overall is a pretty stable one. At the most, I might have encountered 3 to 4 bugs which are negligible. As expected, this ROM brings the sweetness of Android Nougat to a 2 year old piece of hardware and man does it feel good. This ROM basically has all of the features you'd expect a Nexus device running Android Nougat to have. The most notable ones are as follows. With this ROM, you get the newly designed settings application which aims at providing information at a glance. With it, you obviously can peek through some of the most common settings like the ringer volume, the number of applications you have installed and also the version of Android you're running which in this case is obviously Android Nougat. Apart from that, you now also have a quick visuals on suggestions which are basically reminders to mess around with some settings that you might be interested in. For example, it reminds me to turn off the do not disturb mode while I leave it turned on. Lastly, while in a submenu, you can use the new seamless swipe navigation panel to quickly jump between options in the settings application itself. If you have more than one application opened up in your recent apps, then this feature might excite you the most. Unlike the very unfinished multi-window mode in Android Marshmallow, this one is a lot better, faster and easier to work with. Just go into your recents menu and long press on an application until you have a visual on the bar above asking you to drag it there. Once you do so, you will have an option to select the application you want to fill the other half of the screen with. This feature is an amazing one if you need to quickly write something down or just copy or paste seamlessly. You now have access to your 5 most used, prioritized quick toggles from the notification bar itself. You can pull it down once to see all of your notifications and some of your quick toggles and pull it further down to reveal all the quick toggles you have. You can tap on the little edit icon to rearrange all the quick toggles, delete some and even add a few if you like. There are also some applications over at the Google Play Store that have kind of like an extension in the quick toggles menu. Furthermore, to add your permanent 5 toggles, just place them in such a manner that your choice of toggles fill in the first 5 places. By now, you might have noticed that some elements in this ROM seem a bit redesigned. With Android Nougat, Google eliminated the complications in design and introduced a much more cleaner and polished look. As you can make out from the notification bar, they now take full width of the screen to take advantage of the bigger display. The animations are now even more smoothened out and they are more accurate. The entire notification and quick toggles bar has been redesigned, the settings application and so much more. With Android Nougat also come the new Unicode 9 emojis which believe me are a lot better. There are more human like and now are my favorite. There are now over 70 new emojis introduced in 7 daughter Nougat. Secondly, the notifications you get from the same application are now bundled as one single notification. Furthermore, you can now expand the notifications by such a significant amount that you can take individual actions for every single notification. You also have the quick reply feature built in. The recents menu also has a few tweaks. Firstly, the recents look in itself is pretty big now so that you have a lot more screen to glance at. Secondly, you can double tap the recents button while in an app to quickly switch between the second to last used application. This is so fast indeed that I can't do stop doing it myself. Surprisingly enough, the only two bugs that I found until now with this ROM is the NFC issue and bad battery backup. If you ask me, I've been loving this experimental build on my OnePlus One. If you guys enjoyed the video, then why not show some love on that like and subscribe buttons. Well, this was fun and I'll see you guys in the next episode.